We are in a pandemic of anti-Asian racism and hate. Within the two years of 2020 to 2022, just one group has documented more than 11,000 incidents. The health impact has been enormous. The climate of hate had a direct impact on mental health, people losing contact with social support networks. And there have been many studies to show the health impact of racism through our society, that it is, it's actually cellular. Fighting hate is important to improving the health landscape of all of society. On January 11th, 2023, an Asian student was riding the bus, and as she was getting off the bus, a white woman took out a knife and stabbed her in the head several times. The white woman later told the police that she thought the girl was Chinese and said it would be just one blessed person to blow up our country. I was so afraid for my students. My initial reaction was, oh my gosh, this is the same. This brought back 1999 when a student from Korea was murdered by a white supremacist. I thought this was already over and it never was over. I think there is a pandemic of hate. Just when we have advanced, then these things happen. And it felt like we're back to square one. Helen Zia offered to come here and we are so grateful. Today, it may feel like we are in a wave of anti-Asian hate, but unfortunately, we've seen this over and over again throughout history. 41 years ago, a young man named Vincent Chin was killed, and out of that came a civil rights movement. And so the Vincent Chin Institute has the mission to bring communities together, to fight hate, but also to fight for a world that is better. The event Hope Not Hate is trying to reach out to people through the universal language of music. How can we make sure no other family experiences this? This should not happen in any American town. That's why the Vincent Chin Institute was created, to build bridges across every perceived difference that exists to keep people apart. Our skin might look different, but our voice together is so much greater than the sum of our parts. People might think that it's insurmountable to think about challenging hate, but if we can get people to see each other as fellow human beings, people do have those aha moments. And it's those aha moments that can change the world. Tonight is the launch of Hoosier Asian American Power, a group of Asian American women pulling together people in Indiana to address these issues. As Asian Americans have been the target of these attacks, they've also been finding different ways to push for change. We are resilient, we are strong. The existence of this organization is proof that Asian Americans are not invisible, we are present, we are powerful, and we are ready to do the work. America has changed a lot. There are people who really don't like that change. We've been here before. There's a good and bad in that. Well, the bad we're living through. But the good is that we know they are cycles. We will get out of it too. If you see something that will make the world better, change it. In my 50 years of keeping lists in my head of other people who have been harmed, I've also seen change, people coming together that's the story beyond the pain. The pain is only one part of it. We can connect. We shall overcome. Together, we can make change.